Quadrant Part 9, everybody. Welcome back. Okay. I'm still quite stunned that I'm not dead right now. I'm, I'm so surprised I'm still alive after running underneath those sleepers. I don't know why they didn't wake up. I guess whatever they were dreaming about must have been very, very good. Not worth coming out of it to, uh, to kill me. Anyway, what we need to do is go from this side to the other side to do that. We have to cross over the garden we were in a couple of videos ago. And hopefully these vents don't give way as I'm jumping across them, alright? There's another one. Yeah. Okay, despite those things looking a lot like spiders, it seems they can't climb walls. Thankfully. That looks like a pretty big one. I'm just gonna sort of pace myself. Oh, just about, yep. And another one, yep. Wait for my stamina to go up for the last jump. Or, uh, is there another one after this? Ah, okay, there we go. And I've made it. Hopefully this is the way to the subterranean tram. Knowing my luck, it probably isn't. We're probably going in the complete opposite direction. Maybe that side was better. Maybe that, that was the lesser of two evils. I can't help but feel we're going to run into some more trouble here. And of course, I still don't have my, my flashlight. I wonder if I'm ever going to get one back. Yeah, okay. See, if I had it, I wouldn't need to go up there to check if there was a door or not. Anyway. <sighs> okay. What's that? Is that a sleeper? I don't think so. But it doesn't sound like a spider, either. This might be a new specimen. Maybe it was that thing that was in the fog last time. Oh boy, okay, hang on, there's actually something written on the wall. What, <laughs> what the hell? I think I was trying to ride the railing there. Okay, ah, it's probably a code for this door, right? Let's see, I've seen a couple of these symbols before. Let's see. I think, yeah, I think it's another three-digit code. Okay. Oh, hell. It's up and about, ladies and gents. And it looks <laughs> kind of comical. <laughs> very long legs. It looks very drunk, though. You know what? It looks like it should be wearing roller skates. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Um, sure, okay. So that's locked remotely, so let's get the key code. The key code is right here. Just give you a moment. I'm going to check the alien note again. And I'll come back to you when I've figured this out. Alright, I think I've worked it out. I think it should be 342, because the first two symbols are the TH ones that we've seen before, and uh, this Ray one, so that's three. The next two are actually completely different. Uh, it starts with the one that's FO up here, and then it seems to go to something that looks a little bit like a G, so it's either OR or OI. And since I don't know a number that's FOI, but I do know one that's four, I'm thinking it's four. And the last one, is two. We've seen that several times. So it's three, four, two, hopefully. Let's uh let's give it a try. Ooh, okay. I wonder if their motion detection is any better when they're fully awake. Hopefully, hopefully not. Anyway. Three, four, two. Okay. Should I plant my ass on the ground or not? Do I need to? I suppose it's, you know, less movement in a way. Smaller target. Oh god. Okay, there's a hole in the floor. Is there a uh, is there a sleeper around here? If there's one on the ceiling, I wouldn't be able to see it. It's more or less pitch black in that corner. Maybe it's down below. Shit. Okay. Let's just try and keep well away from this thing, shall we? So if it's going left, I oh god, hang on, where's it going? Oh. Right. Let's let's be kind of quick about this. I don't want to sprint because that's a lot of movement, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, another hole in the floor. Sure. All right, we can actually go down. There's a very convenient ramp. Oh, what's this? Hang on. <laughs> Is it safe to read? It might not be, to be honest. I want to see where this guy's going. Is he sort of patrolling the area or what? I've got a pretty good escape route. Okay, hang on. Oh, he's heading back. Okay. I've got to admit I thought they would be a little bit faster. Considering they're, you know, longer legs. But let's just have a look at this. It's another confidential document. It's about Blake Wesson, actually. The guy who just died. Approximately 7.30 this evening, Blake Wesson became extremely ill, following the events shortly after another one of our specimens perished. This one, GBE 300, we had been making progress with. We had even began to learn as much from it as we have with XNA7. We've learned of their culture, their language, their history, even their religion and the one they worship. This had been a great stride for our research. 
However, shortly after Blake entered this specimen's chamber and found the subject dead, he became violently ill, feverish, and began experiencing hallucinations. It is my belief that he has been purposefully infected. In his incoherent ramblings, it seemed he was repeating phrases XNA7 had spoken with him about previously. I'd like to make notation of these below, as they could become important to recall at a later time. Okay, so he was saying, Forever shall he watch among us, we are his loyal servants. And lying dormant in the heart of man, and finally, trickery, blasphemy, we shall do his bidding. So, as far as I'm concerned, he was a disciple of the Watcher. That explains his actions last time, I suppose, as well as why the sleepers weren't reacting to him. Right. It's so dark here. I, I kind of don't want to run around in the shadows, you know? Poor guy. Right, I think we might be going down. I will just have a look at this room, though. I think it might be safe. I'm not seeing any sleepers on the ceilings or anything. No more documents or anything like that. Oh, boy. Okay, all right, let's go down before this guy figures out what I'm up to. All right. Oh, shit. They are actually really quite tall. All right, let's see. Can we actually go back up if we need to? Oh, it's tough. It's tough. It it's tough, but it's not impossible. Okay. I think I maybe heard a sleeper around here somewhere, like over in that direction. It's so dark. Unbelievably dark. Let's just go in here. I'm not hearing any grunting, any groaning. <laughs> yes, I am. There's one. Right, that must be a different one. That's probably the one, in fact, that I heard from uh, from upstairs. Alright, where's it going? There's an open door there. Is that where we need to go? Oh my god. Pitch black, seriously. Right now, pitch black. It doesn't take too long for me to get kind of scared in this game. Despite, you know, enemies looking a little bit silly like that. And a few little bugs. It keeps it pretty creepy. Oh god, there it is, there it is, there it is. Back away, back away. Alright, where's the damn door? Fuck, there it is. Okay, <laughs> okay. I guess there's another open door somewhere in the darkness there. Holy moly. Okay, I um... I've had a look at these four rooms, I'm not seeing anything really. I will try and get through that open door. Perhaps that's that's where we need to go. Ah, yeah, there's the other hall and the ramp. Ah, oh, there's more of them. Oh, God. Is he coming this way? I think he might be. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. It is just the one down here, though, thankfully. Or at least, it's the only one I've seen. Right, yeah, there is a door that way. Oh, he's coming back. Shit. Right, where's he going? Doesn't look like he's coming this way. Perhaps he's going through the door that I probably need to go through. Right now, I can't see him. I can could, I could just perhaps... Yeah, I can see a silhouette of his legs moving past. This is pretty terrifying. Where's he going? Is he not... Is he coming back? Oh shit, here he comes. Go right. Go right. Join your friends. Go back to sleep. No, don't come this way. Do not come this way. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to leg it. What is that? Sort of bumping I'm hearing every now and then. I've heard it throughout the game. It's like something is in the vents. Right, you're going that way. That's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go this way. There's actually another hole, I think, with water. Right. Oh my god, right. Yep, yep, just straight in. Straight in! Yes! Thankfully it was deep. They can't swim, right? <laughs> I hope not. I guess they forgot their armbands. Ooh, we're out. We're out. Okay. Is this the way to the subterranean tram? I certainly hope so. We must be going in the right direction now. Oh boy, okay. I'm not holding out too much hope with these doors, but I am going to try them just in case. No. What about this one? 
No, never mind. Never mind. Um, okay. Hang on, hang on. Oh god. Where's that coming from? Are they... Are they swimming? Is there one there? I wouldn't be able to tell. It's that dark. Okay. Let's just... Let's just get a move on. I mean, they don't... Ah! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh my god, they can run fast when they want to. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, don't make me do this. Where did it go? It went up the stairs, maybe? Let's let's avoid that area. Let's try these doors. Not working. Of course, of course. You're going to force me to follow that damn sleeper, aren't you? Yeah, they can certainly move when they want to. They were, they were comical. They were funny when they were just walking around looking like they should be on roller skates, but god damn. At full speed. I don't want to mess with them. Oh, you are forcing me to go to those stairs, aren't you? Where I saw the damn thing. Oh. Not hanging off the ceiling or anything? That's good, right. So, they may have troubles with ramps and maybe even with water, but I don't think they have troubles with stairs. Must have gone this way. Just must have. Oh. What's that? Like a countdown? I've got 15 seconds for something? I'm hearing something. Something creeping and crawling. What's going on? Five seconds. Oh, what's this? Oh. Um, I've been roaming the halls like a caged animal, wandering back and forth between the rooms of the facility. Although the change is not yet complete, I have no control, even still resembling the human that I am. I've come across several guards, whom were still loyally watching over the facility, and I've murdered them. The guards and the scientists they were protecting. Every last one of them. It seems as though they were already aware of the man who infected me, and were attempting to find a cure for the others who had become infected. I've killed the last few here who might have been able to cure me. Help must be coming. I know it must. I leave the decision in your hands. Contain me and try to find a cure, or kill me, and the rest. And that is from Ben Wallace again. So maybe that sleeper that I saw by Ben's hazmat suit? That wasn't Ben. Maybe Ben's something else entirely. Oh, there you go. Okay. It's an incinerator. It's an incinerator. Okay. Yeah, so we're in the... This is a big rubbish pile. They come out the chutes down there, I see, yeah. And then it all gets burnt up. Or it should do, anyway, if there was someone here to shovel it in. Right. Let's see. Let's, um... Let's try these doors. Can they be opened? Oh. Door locked while incinerator's in use. Not remotely. Okay. So we need to turn the incinerator off, I guess? Hang on. I think I can use this button, or use something on this panel, one of these buttons? What about the others? No? That lever? No? I still hear something over here. There's definitely something. Let's go around. Nothing on the ceiling, right? I don't think so. Oh, yes, there is! Oh, fucking hell! Oh, God! <laughs> okay. Uh, is that... Hang on. Is that Ben? Maybe he is a sleeper. He's just not the other one. You know? Oh, my God. Go down here. <laughs> um, I'm running out of breath right now. He doesn't seem to be as fast as the others, thankfully. Oh, I think he's lost me. No, he hasn't. Fucking hell. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. I just have to do a run around for a little bit. Can he actually lose sight of me, if you know what I mean? If I outrun him, perhaps go back down the way I came. Oh god! <laughs> Didn't intend to do that, but it worked. He might still be coming. I can't hear him walking anymore. Yes, I can. Where is he? Is he back on the ceiling? He might be, honestly, he might be. There, yeah, there he is, there he is. If I time it right and he chases me, I might be able to burn him. I suppose that's where the choice comes in, that's what he was talking about. Right, here, here, come, come on, come on, we've got like 15 seconds, let's do this, let's, come on. I can definitely contain him, I don't know if I want to burn him though. 
In here, mate. Come on. Have we got time? We might just be a little bit short. Oh, god damn. I don't know if I can get in and out in that time. He seemed to be stunned when it went to like three seconds or something. Fuck. So I'm going to have to time it quite right. As, uh, pretty much as soon as it hits 20 seconds, I'm going to have to get his attention and run down with him. Oh, Jesus, man. Alright, hang on. If we perhaps just sort of get our stamina back in this corner, we might be able to run around him. Yeah, no matter where he is, when it hits like three seconds, he gets stunned. That's weird. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try this. Let's time this right. We might be able to do it. We've got like 15 seconds now. Come on. Come on. I just hope he doesn't insta-kill me. Oh, if I had something to hit. Come on. Here we go. Yes! Ha ha ha! Shut, shut, quick! He's stunned, he's stunned! Shut it! Yes! Warning. Live matter detected in incinerator. Confirm incineration at the control panel. Do I want to? Do I want to kill Ben? Assuming that is Ben. Is there ever going to be a cure? Probably not. <sighs> I might just leave him in the box, honestly. Let me just check. Maybe... Maybe those buttons that I couldn't use last time, maybe now. Maybe now I can actually sort of use it. Oh, those doors are open as well. Yeah, hang on, look, look at this. Incinerate Ben. It's definitely Ben. I can do it. I can do it. But considering there might be a slim chance there's a cure somewhere. Oh, check this out. Specimen fatalities. In the last 48 hours, three of five of our contained specimens have died. OTF-300 and MT, uh, MNT-300 appear to have killed each other, as they were both found with deep lacerations and several broken bones just outside their containment chambers. The third specimen, a lower priority, low intelligence being, was found inside its chamber. It appears as though it had been decomposing for several weeks, as bodily fluid was exuding from the corpse, and a gaseous substance filled the air. This wing of the laboratory has been locked down for quarantine. The body shall be sent to the pathological incinerator for disposal, as we are unable to test on them any further. And that is Ron yet again. Right. Ben, mate, I think I'm going to leave you behind. And yeah, I don't know what's up with the drawers right now. They all seem to be locked. Or I'm just... I'm not bothering with them right now. Let's just leave them behind. I think, morally, I'm probably doing the right thing. But, um... You know, when the cleanup crew actually does get here... He's probably gonna kill a few of them. <laughs> oh well. Ooh. Okay, so... Jamie's dead. Ben has been dealt with. Providing somebody doesn't open that door, I shouldn't have to deal with Ben anymore. I'm on my own. Very much so. Okay. Anything interesting in this big pile? Can I go in there, I wonder? Maybe, maybe, no. Nah, I can't quite fit, never mind. Probably for the best, really. Okay, where are we going? We're going right or left? Oh, let's try this door. Nope, never mind. I really do miss my flashlight. We're going up again? No, 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 we don't want to go up again. Subterranean, right? No, we don't have to go up too far. What the hell? Police cars? This is a car park? We're in like a multi-story car park right now? Okay. Alright. Um, up or, up or down? I, again, I'm thinking down. Oh, what is that sound? The sound in this game is absolutely superb. It's a very terrifying audio. Let's go up here. I don't know. There's more lights up here. Oh, god damn. What's going on here? I feel like there might be something hiding behind one of the cars. There's definitely more lights. The further you go up this multi-story, though. Okay. Okay, let's just, let's just go over her. Oh, shit, just go, just go, <laughs> just go, quick. <laughs> oh my god, what have we got here? 
Is this the Matrix or something? I didn't realise I was Neo. Whoa! Who's this? Or well, what is this? On every single screen? Is this the Watcher? Maybe not the Watcher specifically. Is this what had Jamie? She oh! Ah, okay. Wouldn't actually surprise me if that was the end of chapter 2. Next time in part 10 we might be starting chapter 3. Okay, thank you very much for watching part 9. Hope you agreed with me on my decision to keep Ben alive in the incinerator room. Although, the more I think about it, the more I think I probably should have given him the red treatment and killed him. Because it's probably just going to bite me in the ass later on, maybe in chapter 3, I don't know. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with it either way, I suppose. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, hope to see you back in part 10. See you then. I think it's another three digit code, okay. Oh, hell. It's up and about, ladies and gents. And it looks <laughs> kind of comical. Let's just, let's just get a move on. I mean, they don't- <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, nothing on the ceiling, right? I don't think so. Oh yes, there is! Oh fucking hell! Come on, here we go. Yes! <laughs> shut, shut, quick! He's stunned, he's stunned! Shut it, yes! Oh god damn. What's going on here? Okay, let's just, let's just go over her. Oh shit, just go, just go, <laughs> just go, quick. <laughs> oh my god, what have we got here?